Hello Aquarius, this is an X reading for the 3rd through the 9th of January. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see where you guys are at right now. So my clothes back there, I'm going to open the door. Shame, shame, Danny. Aquarius, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Oh, all right. Ha. <laughs> There's something that you guys have learned that has got you feeling really excited right now, feeling really good about yourself. Um, I, I think you're coming into, coming into your own is what I'm feeling. Hmm. Leo energy. Coming into your own, somebody realizes that they are in love with you. Cancer energy. Just a bottom line. And I think you feel it too. That's part of the reason why the sun is there. Um, because there's something about this, something that you've realized makes you really happy. Like you've been enlightened. But there's a need for you to decide if this is what you want. Do you want to share in this happiness with someone or do you want to go your own separate way? Um, Aries energy here. Yeah, this person is moving. Um, I feel like, I know you guys are not together because this is an X reading, but I feel like um, even though this person loves you, I feel like they are moving away from this connection because it, there, there is hurt attached to it. With the three swords on either side of the person in the boat, there is hurt attached to um, this love that you guys share. Now, Aquarius, being that this is your card, the six of swords, this could very well be you. The energy can be reversed here, okay? But somebody is moving away from a connection um, where, where they endured some hurt, okay? trying to um you know just leave past issues behind and just go on even though they feel this connection let's see what you guys want i feel like you know you are actually wanting to what you're trying to do is not focus on a connection I feel like with anyone I feel like you're you're mostly trying to work on yourself but there is something that is nagging inside of you that <laughs> this two of cups is calling you this two of cups is calling you and this is how your cards are right now these two came out together okay and then you have the two of wands and you have, let's see, the four of cups. So what this is telling me with the sun here and the ace of swords is that you realize that this person makes you happy. There's something about this person that you just know is... Um, this is the person if you're going to be with somebody this is the person is what i feel but at this point i think there has been a lot of things that have happened so now you're in this crossroads with this two of wands in the middle on whether you go for what it is that that you have realized and how you feel about this person or you choose to ignore it and go on your own path away from this person and I feel like that's where you are right now it's like you're wanting to ignore it because some things have transpired I feel that um, of course cannot be taken back so there's a choice between commitment and um, diving into further into this love connection or turn a blind eye to it basically okay let's see what the other person wants 
that's Aquarius, not Aquarius, but that's um, Cancer energy as well, okay? So quite possibly Aries Cancer person that you're dealing with here. Okay, the other person um, is a Seven of Pentacles here. I think this person is just wanting to um, kind of evaluate life right now before they um, decide to do anything. The main thing they're wanting to do is to get out of this 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 heartbreak um, hotel. <laughs> they're just wanting to leave it. Um, and they're just trying to get to a calmer spot in their life where they can just, you know, kind of reflect and see what is the best move um, from here. It's Taurus energy. So they're really, um, they're not doing anything. Mm -mm. They're, they're basically taking an inventory of life right now. Okay. They're hopeful surrounding something though. And I don't know if that hope has anything to do with you, but I feel they're, they're hopeful. They are, um, I feel like this person is, um, is lighthearted. Um, and they, I feel like they always try to think positive. They try. And which is very Aries type of energy here. Let's see what you guys need. Do not overthink this. I feel like, I feel like you know in your heart with that um, Ace of Swords what it is truly that you want to do. And I think you're actually fighting it. With that Ace of Swords and the Sun there, you know what makes you happy. You know what you want to do. But right now, you, you're almost feeling boxed in because you know how you feel about this individual. But at the same time, it's like, really all the things that have gone on here it's like, you know, is it worth it? I feel like should I should I pursue that or should would it would it be better for me to venture out on my own? Is what I'm feeling for you. You you're almost feeling boxed in with this decision because you know in your heart what you want to do. I, I mean, I feel that strongly. Let's see what the other person needs. I feel like it's time for them to stop beating themselves up because I feel like that is what they're doing. They are carrying the weight of the world on their shoulders and they are the ones that's actually, um, I feel like they're trying really, really hard to, to figure out like where this went wrong is what I'm thinking. You're trying to figure out where this went wrong, where they went wrong even. And then as I'm saying that, the seven of um, cups flipped over, they are, they're in a state of confusion here they're trying to figure out their life and where they go from here. They're really just trying to figure things out. Hmm. Let's see what is the outcome for you guys. I felt like this was coming for you, Aquarius, because um, I think you are getting to a point because you feel this connection between this you and this person, um, but you really, I feel like you don't want to. It's undeniable, unmistakable, but I feel like you really don't want to and it is like, it's weighing heavy on you what you should do because you know whatever choice you make here 
um, it could be it could be one that could be very you know beneficial, very good for you. Um, but on the other hand, if you make the wrong decision, then you know it could possibly be something that you feel for a very long time. You could feel this for a very long time, depending on which way um, you decide. Let's see what's the outcome for the other person. I already got that this person was very, very, very loving. They extend, this type of person extends when they probably shouldn't. They give and give and give and give and give until they are exhausted. And they give a lot of times um, and don't receive anything in return. Very Cancer, Scorpio type of energy here, um, Taurus. But if you make the wrong decision, if you ignore this person's cup, this water sign quite possibly, I'm feeling strong water here, um, then you could end up in a place where you do regret your decision okay so I feel like there is um, there is a need for you to make a choice but make sure it's the right choice because I feel judgment is coming um, and when judgment comes whatever decision you make you know just be prepared that um, this is going to be something that you will have to endure and live with for a very long time, okay? So make sure you make the decision that is um, right for you, okay? Because it's going to have long-term consequences, I feel. Um, this individual also may have some options on the table with the Seven of Cups um, because the Queen, the Queen, really and truly is a committed um, is a committed individual so there may be somebody that um, that is extending to them in the near future an offer of love I mean I'm just putting it out there for you okay all right guys so that's what I have for you for the third through the ninth and I'll be speaking with you soon